What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Solely Kicks TV. I am your host DJ, and if you're new to this channel, I cover any and everything that has to do with sneakers, whether it's bringing you sneaker reviews, giving you a glimpse at how a particular sneaker looks on feet, providing you with tutorials on how to restore your sneakers, etc, etc. In this video, I will be reviewing one of 2019's most anticipated releases, the Nike SB Dunk Panda Pigeons. These sneakers were created by fashion and graphic designer Jeff Staple and are the third dunks to release from the Staples brand with the Black Pigeons releasing in 2017 and one of the most iconic dunks, if not the most iconic dunk of all time, the NYC Pigeon releasing in 2005. So why the Panda Pigeon? Where does the name come from? Where does the concept come from? How do these two animals even get mentioned in the same sentence? So basically the concept comes from the fact that Jeff Staple was born and raised in New York City and in his 2005 release, he chose the pigeon because he saw the pigeon as an unofficial mascot of New York City and how you see them all over the place, they're very fierce, they don't care about anyone, they'll walk all over you. Uh, he felt that the pigeon just really personified New York City and the people that live there. So that's the pigeon. And if you look at the colorway, of course, the black and white represents the panda. Jeff Staple is also Chinese. So as a nod to his Chinese roots, and his New York roots, he decided to just blend the two together and make the Panda Pigeon. So I picked these up from Recess, located in Boone, North Carolina. So if you're ever in the area and need to stock up on skate and snowboarding gear, I highly recommend that you check them out. So Nike takes us back to the 2005 Pink Box era with this release. And for those of you who are novice to the sneaker culture, the Pink Box era was an era where Nike released some of their most coveted sneakers to date. The official description for the Panda Pigeon is the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Original Quick Strike, and the official colorway is black, white, and gusto green. Okay, on to the sneaker. So this sneaker features a black and white upper composed of new buck, very nice and smooth, decorating the front panel and the back panel, and a very decent leather decorating the front toe box, the Nike swoosh, mid panel, and back heel tab. You have white stitching going all the way around the midsole, Hits of that gusto green on the tongue tab, the back of the tongue, the insoles, and the back heel tab. And of course you have Jeff Staples Pigeon which is nicely embroidered on the back side panel. The details in the stitching is pretty dope. Another cool detail about the shoe is the gray Nike swoosh on the other side. So you have a white Nike swoosh over here, gray swoosh over here. And to my understanding, this is uh, a nod to the original colorway from 2005. Also, this gray swoosh is not 3M. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there that think this is 3M. It does not reflect in the light. This is just a flat gray leather Nike swoosh. The only part of the shoe that is reflective, or 3M, is the back heel tab where the Nike is stitched in. This white part only is 3M. Moving on to the inside of the shoe, you have a black sock liner. You also have that gusto green on the um, insoles. Look at the artwork right there, pretty cool. And on the other sneaker, you have that gusto green on the insole with the pigeon. So I guess when you put them both together, it reads Staple Pigeon. So this sneaker started off as a sample or a prototype, one of one uh, sneaker that could potentially be mass produced or not hit the production line at all to be resold. So uh, Jeff Staple just had the shoe laying around in his office. He posted a pic on Instagram and sneaker heads around the world were so hyped up about it because they just knew that a new release was coming. Nike told him to take the picture down so that they could put it in production and uh, here we are today with the shoe. So on the inside you can see as most samples come they have sample written on the inside. So since it's been modified, if you can see like it's been modified here, the M in sample, it reads sample but the M has been crossed out and replaced with a T to read staple, not for resale. So moving on to the most interesting detail about the sneaker and my personal favorite is the translucent outsole. As you can see, sneakers written there. So the concept of the bottom came from the original Pigeon release from 2005 and uh, it caused a huge riot out in New York City on the day of its release. So the New York Post decided to do an article 
on the sneakers uh, and the riots that took place that day in 2005. So these are actual headlines from the New York Post. And uh, it's just a pretty cool detail. It definitely adds a lot to the concept of the shoe. Overall, I think the concept of this sneaker is pretty dope and it was executed very well. And I'm uh, happy to have it in my collection. So if you thought that this review was helpful, please hit the like button. Also, uh, let me know what you think about this sneaker in the comments. And if you want more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.